Hey, what's up, Street Gods? This is Eric I'm from the Eric I'm Street Photography God. So, I want to give you a video on how to be creative every day or how to be an everyday creative. So, its biggest inspiration comes from Cindy, my partner, my wife, and my life, as well as my younger sister, Anna, and that Kim. So, first of all, what does it mean to be creative or a creative? This is my personal take. The word creative includes the word create, which means if you want to be a creative, you actually have to create, you have to make stuff. The biggest problem that I personally faced in the past is that I was too much of a perfectionist that I would have all these ideas swimming around my head and I would actually never create them and put them into fruition because I thought that it wasn't good enough. And it wasn't even the issue that it wasn't good enough to my standards. It was more of a, I was just afraid that other people might judge me negatively and say, oh, Eric Kim, his poems, his blog posts, his photos are shit, blah, 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 blah. And to be honest, uh, a lot of what prevented me from being a creative or creating stuff was fear. The question I want you to ask yourself is, why do you care whether people like your creative work or not? So once I started to realize that my biggest stumbling block was, for example, if I, if I made a photo or if I wrote something and I uploaded to Facebook or Instagram or whatever, and I didn't get a bunch of likes or comments, like I'd feel, I'd feel like, a, like a failure or I felt like I was doing something wrong, but honestly the problem of social media is that, at least with the Facebook newsfeed algorithm, it means that every single you, thing you post won't necessarily be shared to all your friends. So let's say you, you made a poem or you made a photo and you uploaded it and you got zero likes or feedback, whatever. It don't mean that your friends don't love you. It don't mean you're a bad artist. It just means that Facebook the algorithm or the the brain behind Facebook thought oh I don't think this will be likable by other people so it's not going to show up in as many news feeds so don't be discouraged when you share something you don't get a bunch of likes or favorites and stuff like that a good way to overcome this is to stop using social media so even now like I mean I still have stuff auto publishing to Facebook and Instagram or sorry auto posting to Facebook to Twitter and so forth but I don't check it anymore I just for me, my greatest joy is to create stuff that I hopefully think will be helpful to other people and be encouraging and just share it. So even this uh, video right now, not an ideal position. I'm inside a Vietnamese coffee shop in Saigon. It's kind of loud, there's construction and shit will never be perfect, but I'm like, fuck it. And I'm recording this all just on a, an old iPad Air and video quality is not great, I know, but I just wanted to share some words of encouragement. So three, three assignments I give you guys. First assignment, make, photo, make one photo every single day. Anyone could do this. My recommendation, give yourself a creative constraint, only make photos on your phone, process your photos on Visco, whatever, and give yourself permission to make shitty photos. Two, make poems. Uh, I was actually really inspired by Cindy. She makes these great poems and she kind of empowered me to think that hey you know you don't have to be a fucking poet or some artsy kid to make poems anyone can make poems and there's no such thing as a good or bad photo to me a uh, poem to me it's just is a poem does a poem make you happy or does it not make you happy so don't think that the poem is good or not so you know even me i've been doing more of my own poetry last thing is just create digital art so many of us don't have access to like you know, paints and brushes and blah 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 just use your ipad uh, i've been sketching things on this app it's like five bucks called procreate or you could just you know use uh, photoshop or illustrator or download there's a bunch of free apps in the app store you could download and just use your your hand you could sketch uh, drawings on your ipad your tablet your phone whatever it may be or super simple just get a piece of printer paper at the office or wherever and just sketch stuff. I remember when I was a kid, I was bored. Just, I'd have my notebooks and I'd just be doodling the margins. And I would still encourage you to, you know, do it in a spirit of play. Like, be like a big ass kid. Do you remember when you were five years old and you would just sketch 
things with your crayon and your paintbrush or your pencil and you didn't feel like you needed to really share it with anybody you did it for the sake of it and even what Pablo Picasso says is every child is born an artist the question is how can you stay an artist as you get older and I think a lot of it is just fear and and this this is what they actually say about kids too is that if a, if a kid makes a bunch of art you shouldn't say oh it's so good you're so talented rather you should be like oh you put in a lot of effort so the kid doesn't get addicted to like getting external affirmation rather the kid is praised for their effort and so yeah those are three small things you could do today um, and yeah I just encourage you to be a little bit more creative every single day and to be less fearful of publishing your stuff and just don't don't aim for perfection because I think that's the biggest enemy of creativity even um, the French philosopher poet writer Voltaire said the best is the enemy of the good so just make things which you consider 80 percent good enough hit publish and just have fun with it bucks with it as cindy would say all right peace out